We're gonna get started here very soon. Just gonna wait patiently. Hello everyone. How you guys doing today? Welcome to almost, well, it is Holy Week. Um, <laughs> just wanna check in with you guys first before we start. Hello, Luis. Just checking in real quick and then we'll get started. So I'm not sure if you'll hear anything in the background of uh, my kids here today. So <laughs> we're trying to keep it quiet, but this is what happens when we're doing things from home. <laughs> um, so today I actually wanted to start our prayer time by quoting uh, Bishop Gold's sermon. Uh, I hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go ahead and put up the link, the YouTube link for uh, this uh, Palm Sunday service that the Senate did. And so um, you can get the link there and um, check out the uh, Palm Sunday service if you hadn't gotten a chance to. Um, I hope that you guys had a, a very beautiful, I know it was a very different Palm Sunday, <laughs> um, but that it was still a day in which you um, were able to uh, be with people that you love, um, chime into some of the worship services that were available online, um, pray together. Hi, Kathy. Um, all the things that we uh, we didn't get to do all face to face. <laughs> I mean, the big one obviously is being together, having the palms, and doing what we traditionally, what many of us traditionally do on Palm Sunday. Um, but I did find that yesterday for the most part was very peaceful and it was a very beautiful day. I was grateful for um, all of my friends that I saw online who uh, put out palms and flowers and uh, beautiful um, garlands out on their doors and um, the many uh, worship services that were available yesterday. So again, I put the link to uh, the Synod's Palm Sunday worship and I really appreciated Bishop Gold's sermon. <laughs> I really usually appreciate the sermons. Um, yesterday specifically, he did, he said something that I wanted to quote. Um, I listened to it several times to make sure I got it correct. <laughs> but I also, again, posted the link so you could watch it again if you've already seen it um, or watch it for the first time, watch the whole service. It was beautiful music, lots of things to connect you to Palm Sunday and to church. Um, but here's what Bishop Gold said as part of a sermon. He said a lot, but this is one of the things that stuck out to me. Jesus is to be our savior, not our superhero. The humility of his life, his teaching, and his ministry calls as much turmoil as it sorted out on that Palm Sunday so long ago. So Jesus ignited a movement, waving branches and shouting Hosanna, neither hid the turmoil nor relieved the mounting stress. No, those crowds, those branches, they became symbols of hope, defying the disease of the day from defining Jesus or us. The turmoil of Palm Sunday points to the deeper mystery of Jesus's identity and should leave us asking, who is this? Moreover, as we move with Jesus deeper into the shadow of this holy week, as we walk our way to the cross, we should also be left asking, who are we? And the quintessential Lutheran theological question, what does this mean? 
So I really thought that that was very profound and um, it speaks a lot to what we are going through today. I think obviously everything is so different. So many of us are probably used to um, this week being a time where we meet face to face, where we have time to um, go to church for those services from Monday, Thursday for Good Friday. Some of us uh, wash, get our feet washed or wash feet. Um, and then we, it's kind of like a movement into the big celebration of Easter. And I know a lot of people are very disappointed <laughs> um, and not being able to have Easter together. Um, and the way that we are used to. Easter will still come, but it just will be in a different way. Um, and I really appreciated this idea, this, this message, message, um, that there is hope in the branches, there is hope in the saying of Hosanna, um, in this turmoil that exists even for us now, this turmoil of the unknowns, um, and that uh, we get to ask those questions that hopefully in this space, um, in this space where things are so unknown, so uncertain, it also opens us up to ask the questions of who is Jesus in this moment, right? Where is Jesus showing up in this moment? Um, and who are we in this moment? What are we called to do in this moment? And how are we called to pray, you know, and be, uh, and show love to our neighbor? And what does this mean? And, and I know that that's a harder question um, for some of us because it seems, sometimes it can feel meaningless, right? Um, but I do think there, we, we do find like something in the midst of this, that God shows up in the midst of, with us, in the midst of our turmoil and in the midst of our unknowns um, and shows us another way. Um, and shows us um, how God loves us and hears us. And um, so, yeah, I thought that that was a very um, beautiful message, a very good message, especially for us moving into Holy Week and getting ready for Easter. That will come, not in the way that we're used to. <laughs> um, so today we're going to pray, um, starting off with a song. And I'm going to start off with, Lord, listen to your children praying. And it was written and the music was composed by Ken Medema in 1943. And I'll put that at the bottom. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So we'll start off there and then we'll pray some prayers and we'll go through and then we'll end with the same song. Okay. Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children pray. Send us love, send us power, send us grace. Lord, listen to your children pray. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children pray. Send us love, send us power, send us grace. Eternal God, amid all the turmoil and changes of the world, your love is steadfast and your strength never fails. In this time of 
uncertainty and trouble. Be to us a sure guardian and rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nation, guide the leaders of the world, guide the leaders of our churches, guide the leaders of our synagogues and mosques with your wisdom. Comfort those in distress and grant us courage and hope to face the future. Today, we especially lift up those who are in assistant living homes, those who are isolated from the outside world, those who are high risks in all the ways through this time of this virus. We pray for their peace of mind. We pray for their safety. And we pray that they will feel comforted by your love and your peace. Today, we also lift up those who are serving in the hospitals, who are out in the stores, who are providing services throughout our world, our country, who are also at risk because of their jobs. We pray for their safety. We pray that you will surround them with your protection and with your love. Today, we pray for those who are actually sick, who have who were sick before the pandemic and who are sick now. We pray for those who have received any news of having uh, the virus. We pray for those who are in hospitals in isolation. We pray for those who are quarantined at home. And we pray especially um, for those who are grieving lost ones who they have lost to not only this disease, but throughout this time that they cannot mourn, probably not mourn um, as they would hope um, with a funeral and a burial. We pray for all of those affected. And today we lift up every single person who was able to make it this afternoon. We pray for their strength and their hope in you. Lord, hear us, send us love, send us power, send us grace. We pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us love, send us power, Send us grace. Amen. And yes, thank you so much for those who are, uh, Pastor Greg, for adding um, any other prayers in the comments. Um, we will continue to do this every day. Thank you all so much for joining in, uh, sending you all peace and hope and um and hopefully we can uh, go through this week um, in a way that will keep us open to uh, the new possibilities that God is also bringing in the midst of all of this turmoil. Peace and blessings, and I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>